Boom! What is up, Wanderers? We are here for a really fun video today. This is not a bag review, this is a comparison video. We're going to be talking about air slings. Which one should you buy? What's the best sling from air? AER, company from San Francisco, great bags. I've got individual reviews of all these bags on the channel. I'll link them in the video description. You can check them out. But today, we're going to do a comparison, talk through three bags. What do we have? We have the Travel Sling 2. Boom. We have the Tech Sling 2. And the Day Sling 3 Max. Okay, so we're going to talk about some of the features of each of these slings. And at the end of the day, we're going to answer the question, which air sling will reign supreme? Little Iron Chef shout out for all of you all. All right, so let's dive in. Obviously, obviously, the biggest difference in these slings is size. That should come as no surprise to you. But it's a little tough from the website to see exactly what the size difference is. So... I'm gonna hold these slings up next to each other so that you can get a good idea of which size you like best and what the difference is between the two. So, day sling, tech sling, travel sling. And you can see that there is a significant difference between the size of the day sling and the tech sling, but not as big of a difference between the travel sling and the tech sling. Now, that's the height or length of the bag. Let's look a little bit at the width of the bag, okay? So when we put these back to back, and then when we put them like this, you've got a little bit more height on this side than length the difference. Interesting stuff. All right. We'll get into volume here in a second. All right, so I hope that gives you a sense of the size comparison between the units. Let's talk a little bit about materials. Interestingly enough, these two bags, the Day Sling 3 Max and the Travel Sling 2, I bought them in X-Pack. I didn't see an X-Pack option for the Tech Sling which means that you have the bright orange interior on these two bags, which I love, but not on this bag. Um, you know, on this bag, you do have a contrast, you have gray, but you don't have the bright blaze orange. So interesting little note. Couple of other differences with the exteriors of these bags that you should know about before we talk pockets and admin panels and all that. Okay. The first thing is expandability. With this travel sling, one of the things you'll notice is these compression straps on the bottom. And you can load this bag out pretty big. And you can see how much space there is in the bottom of this bag compared to the tech sling which doesn't expand at the bottom. There's no compression straps. And with the travel sling, you can zip this thing up, pull the compression straps, and the whole unit becomes much slimmer. But you can let it out and have a ton more volume. No such luck on the tech sling. The tech sling is designed to be much more minimal. It is much more slim and it doesn't really expand. You've got a little bit of volume in here, you can see, but you're not talking about a change of clothes, you're not talking about a jacket in the sling, anything like that, and there's no attachment points to put a jacket in that bag. Interestingly enough, the day sling also has this capacity, look at this little buckle here, this little bend, it has the capacity to be small but also expand out. So when you pop this sucker all the way out, you have almost a basketball, hmm, soccer ball sized space in this bag. Pretty interesting. So those are two big differences. Another exterior difference that I wanted to call out is in the straps. On 
the travel sling, you have a fixed strap with a fixed attachment point at the bottom, really well cushioned. And when you throw it on, kind of that's the shoulder you're carrying it on. You're set, you're locked in. It's a left shoulder carry. On the tech sling, same thing. You've got it locked in, you've got a cushion strap. It is locked and loaded. That's how you're gonna carry this bag. Left shoulder carry. Right, not an option. The day sling, however, has a magnet, a magnetic fid lock buckle, which is really fun. These two have kind of plastic traditional buckles. The day sling can be worn left shoulder, right shoulder, no problem, swung around the front, no problem. If you try to wear one of these slings around the front, it can work, it's just really, really bulky and now you have all the weight hitting you on this little cord and the padded section wrapping around you like this. So spinning around to open a pocket, not a problem. Wearing it crossbody like that, not gonna work for you. Okay, so let's talk size. This is a Surface Laptop 4. It's my go-to for sizing with a typical laptop. Does it fit in the travel pack? It better, right? Not only does it fit, you've got room to spare. So you can get a pretty good sized laptop into this bag with no issue, and you have a tablet sleeve right here. Both of them secured in place with a piece of Velcro. So tech, you can carry a laptop and a tablet in this bag with no real issues at all. That's the travel sling. Let's talk tech sling. Tech sling, you have one pocket in this front section that is padded. Will it fit a laptop? Yes. And you have a really cushioned back, back section here. Will it fit a laptop? Yes. Now, this fits fairly snugly. You have a little bit of extra room. This is again a Surface Laptop 4. MacBook, not an issue here. XPS from Dell, not an issue here. Great zipper action. Fits no problem. All right, let's talk about another key difference. The travel sling, you have an AquaGuard zipper over your compartment that will have your laptop. The tech sling, regular zippers. So not only is the material, so this kind of ballistic Cordura, uh, different than the X-Pack, it's a little bit heavier, a little bit more cumbersome, I think, it's my opinion, and a little clunkier looking than the X-Pack, not quite as slick and polished, um, but you don't have the AquaGuard zippers on either of these compartments. It is better cushioned. The Tech Sling is better cushioned than the cushioning that you get in this, in this, uh, travel sling too, because it's cushioned front and back in this laptop compartment. So those are some of the kind of trade-offs that you can think through. You also do have, if you sit your bag down a lot, you have this kind of, I'd say it's, it's much tougher. I'm going to go ahead and say it's like a thousand D Cordura bottom here. Um, the rubberized up on the top, but it, it has a little bit more, um, strength and depth than the X-Pack material does, which gives you more flexibility, more expandability, but a little bit less durability potentially, and a little bit less um, slam it around kind of factor to it. Okay, what can you fit into this little day pack? Can you fit a laptop into it? No. But what you can fit into it with no problem at all is an 11 inch iPad Pro with a magic keyboard on it. I do it all the time. Carry it in this bag with no issues at all. iPad mini, no issues at all. Um, a Chromebook, no issues at all. I think you'd be 
really hard pressed to get an XPS 13 in here from Dell, um, but iPad 11 inch, not a 12.9 inch, but an 11 inch does fit pro or regular in this bag. Um, so it's a great tablet tech carry, but not necessarily laptop tech carry. Okay. Those are some of the big highlights. Let's talk a little bit about internal structure and organizations and pockets, okay? We'll go biggest to smallest. Travel Sling, what does it have? It has a front admin section that has one, two pockets and a key carabiner and no additional pockets on the front section of this, but a big, large drop space, obviously. It has then a very cushioned sunglasses pocket up top that is actually pretty big it's about the size, I'd say, of two cans of Pepsi. This video is not sponsored by Pepsi, although I should have thought about that. All right, on the inside of this bag, you have the real admin section here, okay? You've got two pin slots, you've got a zippered pocket, an elastic pocket, two drop pockets, another pocket back here that uh, has quite a bit of space in it, and then your tech sections on the back there, okay? so. Tons of storage in here, very simple front pocket, very complex admin pocket, and a great sunglasses pocket. What about the tech sling? How organized is the tech sling? Well, first off, you don't have a front pocket at all. So that's really interesting, but you do have the laptop, the separate laptop container, so you still do have two pockets technically, but not the same kind of storage. You do also have this big, same exact size, same exact cushioning and material, sunglass pocket. It's really good. On the interior of this pouch, you have an admin pocket with two pin holders, an elastic section, a zippered section, and another kind of mesh elastic section, and then your tablet, cushioned tablet section, your cushioned laptop section. No organization on the front pocket there, no front organization section here. So. When it comes to organization, this bag has a ton more than this bag. This bag is tech, but it's a minimal tech. I think you need to be aware of that. It's kind of a minimal tech sling. This is more of a maximalist tech sling. Don't think it's really a great travel bag, but it's an insanely good tech sling. If you want something lighter and more minimal, I'd go with the... Uh, tech sling if you want something that is a little bit bigger and you have a little bit more stuff to carry uh, I'd go with the uh, Travel sling too. What's the use case then on the day sling? Well, you've got a front pocket here No internal organization just a big front pocket with a key carabiner then you have a back pocket also no organization in the middle section, you have, this is the main compartment, two elastic drop pockets, two more elastic drop pockets, a big zippered pocket, and then your tech sleeve. So you actually have more large pockets, but less kind of admin -y broken down pockets. Like this is where you must put your pen. This is where you must put um, your, your, your pocket knife or your power cord. So this little bag here has tons of storage actually uh, quite a bit and the zippers on this bag are all aqua guard fascinating okay so to be fair this is the third iteration of the day sling and it, this is the max version it does come in um, the regular version and you know these are the second version of the tech sling and the travel sling so we promised at the start of this video that we were gonna to get to an answer on which sling should you buy. This is my opinion, and I feel pretty strongly about it because I've used the heck out of all these bags. The first thing I need to say is, you won't regret buying any of these bags. And frankly, you're not really gonna re ever regret buying an Air product. I think the only time that I've regretted buying an Air product is when I bought a product and I didn't know that a month later they were gonna put out another version of that product with slight improved features. Neither here nor there. But I think understanding where a product is at in its life cycle can probably prevent you from running into that. So, which sling should you buy? Okay, here's how I would break it down. 
My favorite of these three slings, and the one that I use the absolute most, is this one. The Day Sling 3 Max is such an incredibly good bag and such an incredibly useful size for me that I've recommended it to many, many friends and many, many viewers. I highly recommend this bag. I think for the price, it may be one of my most used bags. And, and so there's incredible value in that. Is it the cheapest little kind of waste pack you'll ever have? No, but it might be the most useful because you get almost any tablet into this bag and there's tons of room for other stuff and the expandability is not to be overlooked. So the fact that you can have it slim or pop it out and have a pretty large bag here, pretty amazing. And I love the Fidlock buckle and I love that you can wear it any way you want. You can wear it kind of on your side as a satchel. You can wear it on your back as a more traditional sling, crossbody bag in the city, left shoulder, right shoulder, great materials, AquaGuard zippers, light as air, love the bag. So there's a problem. If you want to carry a laptop, that's not your bag. One of these is your bag. Which one? It's this one. I, I, I'd be hard pressed to recommend the purchase of this tech sling over this travel sling. And you know what? Because this material here, the X-Pack material is so much lighter than the heavy duty kind of rubberized and Cordura materials, there's not a huge weight difference between the two bags, even though this bag is clearly bigger. So, What's the problem with this bag? Why would you not want to buy this bag? There's only one problem, which is, like all sling bags, if you overload the bag, it's just not as comfortable as a backpack, period, okay? So you have to be aware of that. You have to know what you're packing into this bag and you have to not overload it on a daily basis. But the fact that you could expand the capacity with these compression straps let all the way out. The fact that you have a little bit of extra volume in the bag on a day that you need it. The fact that you have more organization, a better high contrast interior, AquaGuard zippers. Like this is the bag of these two. If you're going to be carrying a laptop or a laptop and a tablet, this bag also gives you a little bit more flexibility as the laptop sleeve is larger. So that's the verdict. Still a good sling. This is a great sling. This is one of the top slings that I've ever purchased. So that's it. That's the battle of the slings from air in that order. Bronze medal to the tech sling, silver medal to the travel sling and Gold medal, platinum medal, diamond medal to the Day Sling Max 3. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining. I hope this video was useful to you in helping make a purchase decision on which air sling you're going to buy. If it was, please like the video. Please subscribe, and if you don't mind, share videos as well. Um, we'll see you next time, everybody. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.